and hello everyone. Hope you're all going fabulously well on this Tuesday evening. <laughs> Two streams in one day. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. I was having so much fun this afternoon. So, and because I'm on annual leave, because it is school holidays, I can do two streams in one day. <laughs> All right, let me just have a quick sip of my tea. Oh, bubbing hot. Just how I like it. Move my son's keyboard slightly. There we go. All right. Now, so last stream, did a little bit of the map, got a couple of towers, which was good. Progress. Always happy with progress. Um, now, I've got a star here because there looked like there was something near Tarrytown down here, even though we haven't actually walked in there yet. So I think that's what we'll do right now. We'll walk into Tarrytown, but there's a little location just outside that I want to I want to check out. If anyone can hear any noises in the background, that's my son. <laughs> He's playing some Fortnite with a friend. All right, there we go. There is the place I wanted to have a look at. Dream homes, sun and what? <laughs> hey, hi, hello. Are you ready for all your habitation dreams to come true? You're in luck. We're building dream homes. This plot will soon be a first rate home with sweeping views of Vakala. A dream home of this caliber comes with a hefty price tag, but I assure you, worth every rupee. Oh. I just elaborated that. Uh, to learn more about this incredible opportunity, just head northwest to Tarrytown and visit Hudson Construction. Okay. So you're just advertising. That's fine. I'll remove the stamp then. <laughs> okay, so there's Tarrytown there. Didn't the Great Fairy used to be down here? Yep, yeah, but not anymore, but I see a Korok seed. Straight in there. Thanks for that, buddy. Collect some Amaranth and some Silent Princess. Alright, let's head towards the hill and float down into Tarrytown. Is that up high enough? Yeah, we should. I say we should be able to make it across. I say should. But I don't know. Alright. Not gonna know if we don't try. Ah, easy. Looks like Tarrytown has continued to flourish. They have another place to pray, so that's good. All right, what have we got going on here? 
Oh my, it's a traveller, darling. Tarrytown has grown quite popular after all. It's all thanks to President Mudson. I thought it was Hudson. Oh, Hudson, darling, not Mudson. You forget... Ooh. I'm not even 10 minutes in and I'm yawning. <laughs> you shouldn't forget a founder of Tarrytown. Hudson? He's the president of Hudson Corp uh, Construction, who built this town. Ugh, didn't they open an office around here? Over there, darling. It's the place with the sign you always mistake for Hudson and say hello to. <laughs> Sorry about that. My husband has been getting more forgetful lately. Ah, oh, join the club. Never mind us. Please, enjoy your visit. Oh, that was very nice. What's going on over here? You've combined spaces. Are you still... Yeah, you're still small. What? It's Pellison! Break it down! Sun and done! Sir, have you ever regretted attaching something to your weapon or shield? That's the time... That's the time to tap me. Pellison, here on the Break Apart Shop. Fasten... Fa <laughs> I thought it was fasten. No, it's faster than you can blink. zip -za! It's back to how it was before. It just costs 20 rupees when I break something down. No. We're all good at the moment. <sighs> if you ever had something by mistake, just leave it to the great Pellison to undo what you did. Well, good to know. Anything interesting around here? Oh. I can't be bothered because I keep missing. Ooh, what have we got? We've got monster extract. We've got arrows. Well, I can see the customer's got some taste. Am I right that this is your first time in our shop? Uh, in a while. Good choice, but in case you missed it, we also carry monster extract now. That's right, I'm proud to be the only merchant who sells monster extract. So, Kilton's not doing the monster extract anymore. My main business used to be useful things that you can attach to arrows for extra oomph. But a contact of mine helped me source monster extract, and now I have a sideline in that too. Ha, ah, Kilton. There you go. If you're interested, I can hook you up. Sun and done. I will take all of them. Uh. Alright, what else have we got? So we've got some dazzle fruit and there is some bomb flowers. Oh. Yeah, I've got enough money. Let's grab some bomb flowers. Alright, thank you very much for your time. All right, so that's the entrance. So they must have demolished one of the houses to do that. Oh, it's it's Kilton's brother. Oh no, that is Kilton. Just from the angle, it looked um like his brother. All right, let's talk to Kilton. Why, hello there, you. Oh, it's an honour to see your face with my eyeballs once again, and on such a pretty, pretty day, no less. My little brother Colton is very well, thanks to you. Look, over there. Hmm. He isn't there now, but when you, the sun goes down, you'll find his charming multicoloured stall upon the hill. 
He's working so very hard to make his dream come true. You should speak with him if you see him. Oh, God. Those noises, I have not missed those. Oh, where are my manners? I have yet to greet you properly. Kilton, at your service. Once upon a time, I made goods from, with monster parts, you see, and travelled about selling them from my shop. But once I had saved up a tidy little nest omelette, I gave the stall to my younger brother. I was going to say, I thought you guys, you had the stall. Now I've purchased this plot of dirt land so that I can... At last, make a real dream I've dreamed since I was a wee Kilton. Sadly, it seems the president of Hudson Construction is very busy, and I can't take my next step forward without him. Oh. Still, it's only a matter of time before my dream is not a thing stuck inside my skull, but a thing here in the world instead. Eee! I am a quiver with excitement at the thought of it. What's your dream? The truth is, and this is just between you and me and the gatepost, I have adored monsters ever since I was wee Kilton. Yet you sell their... used to sell their bits. Oh, uh, how strange. This is usually the part where you say, What? Monsters? Disgusting! But here you are, so sensitive to my sensitivities. I know, I know, monsters are violent creatures and despise the world over because of it. That I can't deny. But they're also misunderstood. The way everyone hates them without even trying to understand them. Pitiful. Tragic. You try dealing with the gloom hands. Then come talk to me again. And so I will educate the world about monsters. And once the world understands monsters, they will love monsters. That is my dream. But for my plan to succeed, I require the assistance of the finest carpenter in all the land, Hudson. <laughs> as soon as Hudson is done with his other business, he, you must come back. I promise you a monstrous spe spectacle, the likes of which you have never seen before. Alright, so that's up dated okay so this is Kilton's bit of land anything of interest on top nope no surprises for me shame hello puppies hmm I probably should do some cooking at some point But first, I'm just going to barge into someone's house and see what's going on. I like how they've still sort of kept the same tune for um, Tarrytown, but just slightly changed it a bit. It's much more softer, I think. much softer oh oh okay no I wasn't speaking to you guys before or was I it's late isn't it I should try and sleep oh yes have we met before well there's nothing for you to worry about it certainly doesn't worry me very good sir <laughs> Oh, hello. I foresee needing that in the future. I'll come back to you. Let me finish exploring first. I'll leave these guys last. And of course, it's a blood moon. Oh, that's fine, we're just going to be chilling in Tarrytown anyway. Sun and done. We don't mind the rain. We'll work through the night. Sun and done. It's Hudson Construction. Oh, excuse me. Welcome to Tarrytown. 
Hudson Construction must be very popular if we're getting visitors this late at night. Have you... Sorry, are you here to see the President? He and his wife are a little busy right now. Busy? Mm -hmm. Just between you, me and the gatepost, it sounds like there's a bit of conflict in the family. You see, Hudson and his daughter, they... Oh, her name is Madison. Lovely girl. Anyway. Wait, let me start over. Because of his wife's villager's custom... Oh, she's a Garuda, by the way. Her name is Ronderson. Ronson, sorry. Again, screwed that up completely. Anyway, Hudson recruited her when he built this village. So, oh no, look at me talking about things that are none of my business and to a complete stranger. Little did you know, we helped hook them up. Anyway, please forget everything I just said. No, it's imprinted on me now. Let's check out inside. Oh, he's still around. Hello, mate. Ah, a customer. Capson, that's his name. How interesting that you should arrive at this particular time. To seek out... To seek me out at, is at such an hour. Blech. I can speak, I promise you. <laughs> if I may dare to assume, you must be a highling of the... Journal variety? Yes. Mm. This is a village where many different folks gather. I offer pleasant pleasant sleep to all, regardless of their rank or where they come from, by the mercy of the goddess Hylia. Oh, humble servant led here by destiny. Are you in need of a place of respite? A regular bed is 20 rupees and a water bed. That's appropriate for a Zora. Uh, no. Nah, we're good. We're just checking it out. By the mercy of the goddess Hylia, I hope you have a very pleasant journey. Why, thanks. Alright, let's, let's see what's going on up here. Hmm. This is a little bit of something that goes to nowhere. Yeah, I know. Come on, hurry up. Imagine what the villagers, well, anyone in High Rules' reaction to a blood wound would be. See everything start sparking up from the ground and go, "Oh shit, not again!" Shines upon the land. Nope. Okay, so we just got down from there. Let's have a quick look at their place. Maybe Hudson's busy. What's going on up here? Oh, that must be their daughter. So sweet. We shall let her sleep. All right, let's talk to Hudson and Ronza. Ronson. Mm. Just yesterday, she was talking about it happily. Perhaps you're overthinking it. Though I do understand. I know you're worried about Madison moving. Hmm. Monari told me that Madison had been acting really 
real cheerful lately. I can't help but wonder if she's, you know, just putting on a bold face. After all, she's going to be picked up soon. Oh. Please, if you if you keep acting like this, it will only make it more difficult for Madison to leave. Once this, this is a once in a lifetime journey for a Garuda. We should just support her and give her a grand send off. Oh, you're right, of course. It's a special journey, and we should do something big for her. Ah, huh? uh, a customer. Welcome to Hudson Construction. Let me guess, you're in the market for a dream home, right? That's no surprise. Our unique modular style building lets you put rooms together to create the perfect home. But I'm so sorry, we're still not ready to be open for business. Wait, it's you. Look who it is. It sure has been a while. You know, thanks to you, Tarrytown is doing really good. Nowadays, it's the kind of village that welcomes folks from all over to come live in peace. Oh, and we have a daughter. Looks like, <laughs> looks just like her papa. She's wonderful. Mm. My little Madison. Mm. Hudson, you've got to get it together. Oh. Sorry. I've got to go. We're kind of busy right now. Oh. I'm going back to work now, Ronson. Ah, but don't worry. I'll try to think of something nice to do for Madison. Okay, so we've started another side quest. Oh. Sorry, we aren't ready to open for business yet. It's a shame we're so busy too. After all, we haven't seen you for such a long time. But right now, my husband and I must prepare to send our daughter off. Okay, well, I guess we'll talk to Hudson and maybe we can get the ball rolling. Ooh. We have so deep in conversation, we hardly made time for you earlier. Sorry about that. You know, here at Hudson Construction, we like to say, Ooh. it's sun and done. And here I am, president of the company, I'm supposed to be strong and decisive, but when it comes to my own child, I feel so unsure about things. It's called being a parent, Hudson. I don't think that will ever leave you. As soon as you become a parent, I think I will always be unsure of my parenting techniques. I mentioned her earlier. We have a daughter named Madison. She's wonderful. All the best parts of me and my wife. But Madison is, well, soon she's going to leave and move to my wife's birthplace, Garuda Town. The Garuda have a law that says they cannot associate with men until they have come of age, you see. I mean, it's fine when they're very young, but when they start to become more aware of the world around them. Someone comes from Garuda Town to pick them up. I've been told that for a Gerudo, spending time in Gerudo Town is an honour. And Madison does seem to be looking forward to it. Anyway, I want to give her a big send-off. But I, uh, I didn't realise this would be so hard for me. Oh, Hudson, you're pulling up my heartstrings. Oh, sorry you had to listen to me go on and on like that. I really should get back to the job site soon. I want to spend more time with my little girl before she has to leave, but I have so much work to do. My wife has her hands full too. What with re preparing Madison on for the move, she's so busy, she can't even take work requests. Mostly, I just wish someone could spend time with Madison so she wouldn't feel so lonely. Okay, so Okay, so we've got to play with Madison. Okay. I think we can do that. We'll let the little <laughs> we'll let the little tyke sleep a little bit more. So in the meantime, let's have a talk to this gentleman with something that we're gonna need later on. <sighs> I thought it would be valuable might be valuable when I picked it up, but this weird rock has given me the creeps. 
I've got to hurry and find some sucker to, um, huh? Head into the construction site, huh? There's a small fee to use the rail car. I'll collect it from you. It's 20 rupees, no exceptions, but you only need to pay it once. One fee, unlimited rides. That's a bargain. How about it? The rail car? It's President Hudson's pride and joy in an amazing contraption connecting Tarrytown and the construction site. There's been a lot of strange happenings lately, things falling down from the sky right onto the construction site. Hudson has turned into quite the inventor. Best I can tell, he takes what falls from the sky and experiments until he makes something new. The rail car is a perfect example. It's so simple to control that anyone can do it with... Just give it a whack. <sighs> tell me, what's that rock? Oh, are you inter interested in this rock? I found it buried at the construction site. Of course you did. It's a rare rock, so I stole... I mean, I took it as a memento. <laughs> then it should belong in a museum. But if you're interested, I would consider selling it. For you, a special introductory offer of 100 rupees. What do you say? I know we can get this for cheaper. Not for that price. In that case, how about 80 rupees? That's a one-time one only deal, just for you. Mm, can you go lower? Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? That's actually what it said. <laughs> are you trying to sell some random junk for the outrageous prices again? Look at this thing. It's basically just a really big piece of flint. I'd call 60, no, 50 rupees for is more than a fair price. But, but I already had an absolutely fair price. And he might have... Oh, okay, no need for the stern wife look. We're pretty good at that, I must admit. <sighs> well, what do you say? It's a real deal as at that. Just 50 rupees. I'm going to pass for the moment. Oh. Of course he isn't going to buy after you insulted him with such a high price. Hudson made this town so that everyone could live here in peace. If you do anything to harm that beautiful vision, you won't get away with it. Oh, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. So, until I know where the shrine is, the rock can stay right there. All right. While we're waiting for Madison to wake up, let's do a little bit of cooking. Um. Let's do that one. tomatoes and let's go a fortified pumpkin let's see what that creates what do we get steamed tomatoes uh six hearts tomato cooked while wrapped in a leaf i didn't add a leaf anyway the heat brings out its medicinal effect okay let's cook some more um so we can haste Let's do some hasty summer fruit. Four and speed up for three minutes. Okay. 
Okay, so there's bait apple. Hmm. What about a hardy truffle? Let's hold that and let's get some meat going and some rice. Chances are that is probably going to give us... Like... Meatballs or something. Hearty meaty rice balls. So it's full recovery plus one. So that's that's good. Um, actually, I should be careful of my rice. Okay, no, that's fine. I will cook this one and keep that in. Because I'm going to try and make that porridge. Okay. Alright, let's do some apple, some tomato. And ah, get rid of that. I'll do the armored carp. Um, and screw it. Let's crack an egg in there as well. Tough tomato seafood soup. Seven hearts and defense up is for three minutes and 20 seconds. Interesting. All right. Let's use a coral cleave. Let's do a Hyrule herb. Um. that and an apple all right let's see what we get stormy simmered fruit interesting because that's probably with the introduction of the shock fruit okay let's try and do a little bit more. Um, let's go the pumpkin. Let's go the prime, prime meat and an egg. Let's see what we get. Tough steamed tomatoes again. Hold. Let's use a pumpkin. Let's go a carrot. Hyrule herb and. A mushroom. Let's see what we get. A stuffed meat... A meat stuffed pumpkin. Oh dear. Alright. Food... Cooked food wise... It's not too bad. Do that. Let's see what we can. Let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. 
spicy pepper steak, seven hearts, and cold resistance. That is good. All right. That is pretty decent to start off with. Actually, I might sit down until morning. I bet morning is going to be like 20 minutes after I sat down. Oh no, it's 5 a.m. Oh, who are you? Oh, it's Honey, that's right. What do you want? I'm supposed to play with Madison, so don't bother me, okay? But she hasn't come down from her room on the second floor. Maybe she's busy studying Gerudo. I'm s it's so confusing how many vo and va sounds there are in those Gerudo words. Yeah. There is a fair amount. I was running in the wrong direction. All right. Oh, we haven't spoken to him yet. Time to wake up, mate. So, you got a chance to talk to President Hudson, huh? I was just out there waiting my turn to go chat with him, but I ended up falling asleep. I came to help clear out the Zonai devices and run and ruins that fell all over the workshop. Heard they could use a hand, but I'm still pretty tired. I think I'll take another, another nap before I introduce myself. All right, you go back to sleep, sir. Um, let's see. Good morning is Savoda. Good day is Savak. And goodbye is... What is goodbye? Link, you got to stop doing that to people. Huh? Don't frighten me like that. For a second I thought you were here to take me away on my big journey. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound like you want to go. I'm doing all this study because I'm moving to Mumba's hometown soon. Where she's from. There's this amazing language called Gerudo. I want to teach every son in the village to speak it too, so I've made it my miss Sean to memorize as many words as I can. Hey, would you like to learn some words too, mister? If so, your timing couldn't be better. I'm about to go give a lesson to Granny Monari. You should come too. After some instructions from me, you'll be speaking Gerudo in no time. For this lesson, I'm going to be giving a Gerudo quiz. You should try it. All right. Well, I guess let's let's follow Madison. All right, here we go. Granny's Monari. Savada. Oh my, you're in a good mood today, Madison. Is it time for another lesson? <laughs> of course, it is a special occasion too, because I have a new student in joining the class. Okay, now pay attention, Granny Monari. It's time for Madison's Gerudo quiz. What is the Gerudo word for granny? Oh, oh no. Um, is it? It's Vada. <laughs> nope, too bad. Oh, and granny, it's out of time too. What is it? Do you want to shoot another two to give it a try? Sure, why not? Okay. Mm. 
Okay, it's not Nevada. Baba? <laughs> okay, let's it's gotta be the last one then. Vaba. Ding ding ding. That's right. God, I always sucked at languages. Ah oh, yes, Vaba. It was on the tip of my tongue. Well now, there's one more Gerudo speaker around here. Thanks to Madison, I've grown rather knowledgeable about the language myself, you know. <laughs> well, it's how they talk in Mama's hometown, so if every son can talk like that here, well, then Mama won't be so lonesome, right? Oh, I feel better knowing Mama will be okay, but now I need to know, think of a way to help Papa. Hmm, I've got it. Papa is always so busy, so I'll just make it my mission to help him with his work. Okay, I'm going to go ride the rail car to the job site, where he goes to work all the time. Oh, Madison, she had to grow up too quickly. At her age, she should be clinging to her mama and papa's legs, not working up a sweat trying to make sure that they're happy. Then again, maybe she won't have to. Ever since Haggy was put in charge of the rail car, it's become a whole, whole lot harder to catch a ride. Well, that works out just fine because I've already paid. She can ride with me. Has to be a way. I want to ride the rail car so I can get to Papa's construction site and help him with his to get his work done. But I forgot that guy won't give me permission to run unless I pay him. Aww. I never had to pay until he took over. Guess I'm going to have to hop aboard the rail car without him noticing. But how am I going to do that all by myself? What I need is for someone to maybe cover his eyes or something. Okay. Should I distract him in some way? I charge a fee to use the rail car, but only need to pay it once. What do you say? Maybe he'll buy this weird... Okay. We'll pay that. Oh, itchy eyes. Very good, you're all set. Yes, profit, profit. The controls are simple. Just give it a whack to either stop or start. You're free to use it as you please now. Hehehe, <laughs> now that Hudson's back at the site, there's no one to stop me from collecting that fee. Ooh. Can I pop you in something? And take you down to the construction site? Like it's... Supplies for something, maybe? I did see a big box somewhere. Oh, I remember where it was. It's over here. Sorry, but the construction construction company is still using that cutout. Oh. There are a few others I was going to throw out, though. They're in the company store. So it has... However, the door seems to be stuck and can't be opened from the outside. Maybe something's blocking it on the inside. Oh, dear. Okay. That's the company storehouse. However, the door seems to be stuck. Can't be opened from the outside. 
Hmm. Ain't that a predicament? This looks like some notes, Madison wrote. Say the Gerudo greeting clearly, smoothly and easily. Good morning is Savota, not Sabada. Boys are vo. Not be, not be. Grandma is va. Well, I should have read the book before I left. And thank you is Sarkoz. So, uh Next page. The chief's pet is special. The chief has a really neat pet. Her name is Patricia. Patricia is a special sand seal. She can read people's fortunes. Okay, number three, no talking to Vo. Once I go to Mama's hometown, I won't be allowed to talk to Vo anymore. Mama says it's a Gerudo custom. I guess I'll just need to talk to all the Vo before I can get there. Jesus. Number four. Must not. I must, must, must. Must not cry. No crying. Oh. All right. All right. I'll think of a way for you, and I'll tr think of a way to open up that door. But in the meantime, let's ride the rail car. Here we are at the Hudson construction site. Use it whenever. Oh, Grayson. Sun and done. Hey, it's rare to have a visitor at the workshop. Were you looking for the entrance to Tarrytown? If you're going there, the rail car right here in front of you should come in handy. Oh, just for niceties, we'll go through it. It's a suspended cart that will take you from this workshop to Terrytown, like sun and done. It's President Hudson's pride and joy. It doesn't cost anything to use, so use it whenever you like. Oh, cheeky shit. Mm, if you want to move or stop the rail car, just strike it directly. Terrytown, you see the building on top of that cliff? That's Terrytown. That's where the business desk is for Hudson Construction, where I work. Hudson Construction is a company that handled assembly of Lookout Landing and the Sky Towers, to name a few. Oh, interesting. President Hudson is always saying things like, there's nothing I can't make. Anywho, if you're headed to Terrytown, use the rail car. Lately, folks have been into affixing decorations to weapons and shields and such. Turns out most of them can't deconstruct what they've done, so my brother Pillerson started a business to do it for them. He gets it done. Sun and done. Give it a shot sometime. Will do. It probably is going to happen. <sighs> this thing is... It is a thing. Oh. oh, are you interested in this too? Oh. Look at this. It seems like there might be things inside it. I wonder if we can get them out. This thing just fell from the sky at the time of the upheaval. Uh. But what is it? And where did it fall from? 
Oh, the Sky Islands. All right, let's see if we've got some that I can use. <laughs> That's what those things are? That it is. There are Zonai devices in that thing? Yes, there is. Oh, I forgot about my tea. It's going to go cold. Oh, it's going very cold. I think, yes, I actually think this possibly might be a truly amazing discovery. Probably. And contraptions like this one have shown up in places other than just Tarrytown. Kakariko Village in Nakluda, south of here for one. And there's one in the southwest too, at Dig Dog Bridge near the entrance to the Gerudo region. Could it be that the types of Zonai devices inside each contraption are different? Questions require answers. We've got to investigate the other contraptions. But before that, I feel the need to ceremonially award you with the, for the big discovery. That's that's a great reward. Thanks. Oh. I found it while investigating some fallen ruins. It's rare and was never seen before the upheaval, so its properties are something of a mystery. <sighs> but there's... <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> But there's a research team studying the plant in Kakariko Village. That's to the south of here in Nakluda. If you want to learn more about it, you might try talking to them. Anyway, I'm off for more big adventures and discoveries. Hope to see you again. Hope to see you too. Now let me pick up all my things. Oh, a steering stick. Okay. A Zonai device that can control direction when attached to a con conveyance. It'll activate all connected Zonai devices at once. Oh, a small wheel. A powered Zonai device that spins quickly and is best suited for flat surfaces. It doesn't handle heels or even bumps very well. Ah, well, there we go. That looks like a cave. That's because it is, Lisa. It's a cave. Do I have to pop this? Back a bit, back towards me a bit. No. Ha have I missed another entry? I'm feeling that there might be another entrance. All right. Come back to you. Okay. 
Okay, got a rocket, a fan, there was a glider. There's some stuff with wheels. Okay, we got a gentleman named Sanson. Time sure goes quickly when you're working. I'm sure I asked HQ to send a Goron to come help. Ah, oh, whatever. Someone's helping and that's all that matters for now. Name's Sanson. I'm the leader of the Unipoco boys here that Hudson Construction tasked with clearing up. This place is gathering a lot of attention. I heard it's being referred to as the Zonai Treasure Trove. And there's still more stuff falling from the sky. It's not showing any signs of slowing. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know Hudson Construction? So you weren't sent here to help? <laughs> As the leader of the workers out here, I'm sworn to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting anything out of me. Mm -hmm. Wait, you don't know about the company? So you weren't here to, sent here to help? If you head northwest from here, you'll hit Goron City. And the company is, hold on, as the leader of the work is taken on the task of clearing this place for Hudson Construction, I'm sworn to keep my mouth shut. You're not getting anything else out of me. Right. I will keep that in mind, sir. God, Hudson looks like he's in a bit of a... We'll get back to Hudson. We'll give him a moment. Oop, there's another dragon. They're everywhere. A nuisance understanding of the strange power of the Zonai civilization would broaden the scope of the practical appliance of the devices. Ah, apologies. I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quantity anywhere but Tarrytown. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilizations for a long time. To us Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Ah. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not adhere my research. Good. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Hmm. Well, it's good to know I can take some stuff. It's like I told you. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. We'll get back to that in a sec. I want to have a look over here. Why are my instincts generally always yeah. right? <laughs> okay. All right, we'll head back over there in a second. God, I think it's a race. I don't like races too well. Wonder if everyone's okay. Oh no, this doesn't sound good. Hey there, you just passing through? Mind if I yammer at you for a sec? I've heard things have gotten pretty bad in Gor Goron City. 
the workers aren't working, including my pals from the company who lived to work. You don't know what's going on over there. I'm worried. Goron City? Never heard of Goron City? No, we have, but... Uh. It's home to all Gorons, located northwest of here in the Elden region. If you look off that way, you can see Death Mountain. Goron City is at the base of it. But lately, the mountain's been looking kind of different. Makes a fella uneasy, you know? Hmm. Aside from that, I've also been hearing the bothersome things about the Gorons back home. I'm so worried I can barely work. See, we Gorons are a friendly and hardworking sort. We end... We never get up to any kind of trouble. But I'm told that my pals at the company have stopped production. Something's just not right. That's the mining team founded by our wonderful president, Unipol. Or Prez, for short. If you see someone wearing a blue uniform with a pickaxe logo on it, they work for the company. Like me. Normally, we'd be off mining or... We'd be off mining or out of caves. I don't know why that was so hard for me to read. Near Goron City, but lately a bunch of Zonai devices fell f down in the area. I heard the folks out here needed help clearing it out, so I came to pitch in. I've been away for so long and things have gotten bad back home. Just what's happening over there? Well, by the sounds of things, it can't be anything good. Unfortunately. Ooh, there's a well. Well, well, well. Um. It's a balloon. All right, what have we got here? Looks like you're hard at what? Ah, who are you? This is Hudson Construction Site. We're doing critical work that can't be done anywhere else. It's no place for civilians. Not to mention the falling ruins. They are incredibly dangerous. You really shouldn't be here. <laughs> Hudson Construction is the number one construction company. And they don't only do buildings like the ones that look out landing. They also build machinery like the Sky Towers. Amazing! And just wait until you hear about their latest invention. Mm. This balloon. Can you believe it was made from Zonai devices? Eh? Pure has, seen a keen, has taken a keen interest in all the Zonai dev devices found here. So she asked Hudson to make this balloon for the Zonai survey team to use. Thanks to this thing, the scope of our research has broadened considerably. Ahem. Anyway, as I was saying, we do critical work here. No civilians allowed. Critical work? More Zonai artifacts fall here than anywhere else. It's completely unrivaled. Look, see that? Only three have been found on the surface. Well, we've already sorted that problem. To someone on the Zonai survey team, a site like this is a dream come true. <laughs> Imagine rare research materials just falling into our laps. Incredible. Ahem, I got a little carried away. Anyway, people are working here, so please give them some space. Ooh. If you're headed to Tarrytown, that rail car to the east is the quickest route. Well, we're not... But that's okay. Oh, well, that's right. Well, well, well. Maybe the well is connected to the, um, Ah, just missed it. Um, connected to the cave on the other side. Who knows?
Ha ha! So it does. Oh God! Whoops. I think I'll just pickaxe that one. Yeah, that'll do. Ooh. How the dilly am I meant to get to you? I wonder... <laughs> this is going to bring me right, right at the service, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Wheel steering, battery, fan, portable pot. No, I don't foresee any of that giving me a hand. bathroom and get myself a fresh drink and I will be right back and where's my mouse where's my mouse there it is Thank you. 
Okay. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Let's ascend up. There's going to be another. Oh, hello. Another area with rocks. So that's the well. Pretty sure we've been... Oh, no we haven't. We haven't been down here. Aha! Aha, got it. All right, there we go. Happy now. All right, let's see if we can do that race. Possibly. Ah, it's over there. Oh no, they're still there. Here I am assuming that it's a race. You tricked us, it's like I told you. Okay. Ferneson, this wasn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd 
get to drive a vehicle like no one else has ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control. What kind of fool do you take us for? You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Constructions to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices and the other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping uh, professional racers like you two can offer some guidance. So what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with the, your fancy words. Oh. Hmm. You found nothing among the Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. Hey, 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 I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those Zon thingamabobs are some are from the Age of Legends? You trying to tell me that something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. We did come all this way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a razor to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, Shabon? Oh. Oh, fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we will do. Excellent. Well, we will give them a hand in a sec. Just remembered we hadn't been up here yet. Okay, this is the vehicle in question. And would you look at that? Now that we've put that on there. Oh, um, good evening. You're not with the Hudson Construction, are you? I guess if he's here, he must be involved somehow. The name's Furnison. I'm working with Hudson on Zonai Device Research Project. It's a pleasure to meet you. In fact, right now we're prototyping new vehicles. Unfortunately, we've run into a bit of a problem. We haven't found a Zonai device capable of controlling the vehicles. We tried all the devices in Tarrytown, but none of them worked. We even bought a couple of top-notch Gerudo racers to get their advice, but I'm afraid uh, that made things worse. Try this steering stick. Hmm? Oh, what is this? I've never seen a Zonai device like this before. But I don't think I can do anything with it. Not like this. I wish there was a way we could use it. <laughs> Try it on that Beagle prototype there so we can see how it works well I'm pretty sure it's attached ah. ah so that's how you set it all up yes yes now I see how it could be used to see something. Could you come here for a minute? I have a favour to ask. Ah. Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? Oi. I don't get it. The weird thing is going to make the huge contraption move. Don't call me a weird thing. Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see Ah, if you're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Oh, mm. crap. Let's see. Hmm, I think I'll flip the switches here and here and yes. Ah. Ta-da, it's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them. So here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return here where you sign within the time limit. Do that and we'll test, we'll call, 
Oh, sorry, dinner is repeating. We call the test drive a success. Until then, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, we'll have built another new vehicle and one that's completely different from the balloon. Oh, I almost forgot. During the driving test, don't forget. Don't let go of the steering wheel or go off too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. Now, if you don't mind, yeah. give it a go. Let's do it. Then let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Oi. Okay, let me quickly remind you of the rules touch all the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit oh and don't forget the steering wheel yeah, 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 yeah. finally things are getting interesting around here we better believe i'll be keeping a close eye on your technique mm. hurry That wasn't so bad. Unless they're going to ask me to do more. Ah. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could steer so easily. Ah. Ooh. Technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tali? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Yeah. We can finally move on to the beginning phase, the next phase. See, this is just the beginning of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonai device's full capabilities. And, ah, I'm counting on you to help me out. <laughs> Here, consider this a down payment. <laughs> You're now an official member of our team. <sighs> oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Oh, another sleepover ticket. I've got a few of them building up. I should probably use them at some point. Oh. Head straight down the road and you can't miss it. Excellent. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in a comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited as I am as... Yeah. See, the vehicle is up and running. You don't need to accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Tarrytown race project, and finally I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Wow. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. The Tarrytown race. Hmm, yes, I am looking forward to it. Alright, well, I guess at some point we're going to have to come back here. I am guessing Hudson is... Oh no, there he is. Alright, I want to talk to Hudson. Do you have the capacity to build another order of balloons? And would you be open to accommodating a few design requests? Ooh. Of course, we'll do whatever we can to help with your research. Ooh. Thank you. And how's Madison? I heard she's moving soon. Ooh. Oh, Madison. Oh, Madison. But President Hudson, uh, f oh, forget I said anything. Mm -hmm. Oh. Sorry about that. We are having a chat and I didn't notice you there. Ooh. It's nice to see you come all the way out to the construction site, but I'm all right. I just hope it inspires Madison to see her papa working hard. Anyway, I've been looking at ways to make use of Zonai devices that have fallen from around here. It's all part of this development project I'm doing with the folks of the Zonai survey team. Development project? Oh. Well, for some, there's those balloons the Zonai survey team is using. We made them. You see, they're the Zonai devices that floats when you add heat. We attach a basket to those things and then folks can jump in and go for a ride. 
And right now we're working on these vehicles and a wheel-like device, but this device rotates automatically. Mm. Truthfully, we've got the vehicle base down, but safety and handling is still an issue. Can't say they're practical yet. Ooh. We set aside the northern end of the construction site for vehicle development. We've been there. If you're curious about that stuff, chat with Ferneson. She's the survey team member in charge over there. Ah, but we'll have to wait. She's busy working with some experts we invited to help out. Hmm. That doesn't really help me with the situation. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, for the meantime, we'll head away from the construction site. I do have some shrines I can head towards, like that one there. Um, you know what, let's go to this one. And we'll start making our way across. Oh, that's right. I don't particularly want to be up here. Not while those gloom hands are still glooming about. Alright. So we've got a shrine over there. I think that's the one I was aiming for. I don't think we're going to make it the full way, so I'll aim for this rock and then we'll go across. What is that? Am I not going to like this? Oh, it's a Korok seed. That's fine then. have to travel over that way and see what's going on there. Okay. No. Alright, let's grab that. Okay, that's not exactly how it's meant to go. Oh. No, go down. Up. Up, up, up. Oh. 
Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Just had to rethink it a bit. Just had to rethink it a bit. All right. Oh, there's a well. Actually, you know what? While we're here, we may as well check out the stable. It cannot hurt. Ooh. Oh. Hello, fellow traveler. What are you searching for on your journey? My passion is finding geoglyphs. They're enormous pictures that have been drawn on the oh. ground. When they've been drawn and who by and how the mystery the mysterious abound i tried to learn about more about the geoglyphs by asking my associate in the zonai survey team hmm. unfortunately all they wanted to talk about was training in their under <laughs> underpants oh goodness okay well you're not who i thought you were that's f fine oh you know what you can wait Break time. Oh, what's a guy to do? I got into the Zonai survey team recently and now this. Look at me. Sitting here like a dope in my underpants. Thought I'd be getting in getting in on something good here, but my first order was to go into the fields dressed like this. Mm. They say the order came down from none other than Princess Zelda, but I mean what's up with that, right? Mind and body as one. Ha, ha. From now on, we are the survey team. Must pursue excellence on two fronts at once. Mind and body. Princess Zelda, in all her brilliance, has given us our marching orders. We must live up to her expectations. Princess Zelda's orders? Ha, ha. Good morning, traveller. You must have an interest in the brilliant gardens of... Princess Zelda 2. The only she gave to the survey team was this. Word for word. We will only find our future if we chart a new course, leaving the safety of the indoor study for exploration in the wild. So prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. I think they misheard that. And Trevor, I will tell you, when Princess Zelda gave our team those marching orders, we marched. So that's why we're here, surveying monsters in our underpants. Oh. Why not join our efforts here? Our survey work has never felt more adventurous than in our underpants. Oh, mate. Alright, let's check in. Ah, oh, welcome to Foothill Stable. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll award you one pony point. Sweet, you get another reward. Oh, it looks like you got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, just da 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 da. Ah, uh, Goron City, but the road's been busted up since the upheaval and isn't used much. These days, it's mostly just a den for monsters and a dangerous one at that. You may want to take a safer route to Goron City. If so, I recommend you head south along the road, turn to the west, and then take the mountain path from Woodland Stable. Okay, good to know. Alright, you settle inside there, Beetle, and I'll, I'll come and see you. 
yeah, sure, we're kind of not wearing the usual gear here, but we're not just following orders. But we're just following orders. It's not weird. Not weird at all. Still, that girl who works in the stable took one look at all of us and left. She's far over there and won't come back. Doesn't she know we're the real deal? We're the Zonai survey team. This is all super official. It's not weird. What are you thinking? You guys are all... Are all making our research team look like fools. I think you do look weird. So there. Chew on that. You, you're all wrong. We're following Princess Zelda's orders. Oh, how did this happen? I was the last member of the team to reach this survey location. By then, everyone was dressed like this by order of Princess Zelda. Why would she give such a strange command? That is the question. Now, where's this girl? Is she round the back? Oh, but there's a mop. Ah, over there with the dogs. Alright, let's do the well first. I can't get the other things. Are you kidding me? It fell to the bottom. Oh, because it's... It's metal. Of course it's not going to float, Lisa. Oh, I don't want it to attach it. Okay, 50 rupees. Can I reach the other one? No. Push it forward. Duck it down. Alright. Soldier's shield. Um, I 
All right. That's this well done. All right, let's talk over here. Ooh, warm Saflina. Ooh, is that a cave? Actually, first of all, we better talk to this lady. Hello, little doggies. Well, well, good work finding them. Okay, here now, here now. Hmm, you're not walking around in... Nothing but undershorts. Ah, you must be a traveller. So you're not going to believe this. There's a group of guys in their skivvies hanging around at Foothill Stable, which is where I work. Just guys in their undershorts everywhere you look. It's the worst. That's why I'm here looking after the doggies. I'm doing some self-care, you know. <laughs> the poppers? That's right, these little guys. Aren't they the cutest? But they're not just cute. Oh, no, no, no. They also have a, the amazing ability. Their incredible sense of smell can lead you to treasure. Mm. But they won't do that just for anyone. You have to show them lots and lots of love first. You know, befriend them and feed them. But they'll repay you. They'll repay that love by showing you the most incredible things. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, we didn't talk to this dude. Who are you? A traveller? You must be wondering about our clothing or lack thereof. We're just doing what we're told. Prepare your mind and body and then explore in underpants. Those were the orders handed down to the Zonai survey team. As for why, that I couldn't tell you. It terrified me just leaving the stable without clothes or equipment. I can't imagine trying to fight monsters this way. Late Sango and Drant. Those two went to the monster den just up the road. I told them to come back at the first sign of danger, but still no sign of them. Well, that's looking like I'm needing to go in there. All right, any interesting news? Ah, uh, no. Alright, what can Beetle do for us? Oh, no, we'll buy them all. We'll take them all as well. Let's take some splash fruit as well. Why not? Okay, now, what can I... Okay, I want to keep that diamond for a rainy day. Okay, I've got a ruby. Got a sapphire. Got three topazes. Two opals. And some luminous stone. All right, that's it for the moment. <laughs> oh, before I forget, let's get our reward. Uh, actually, receive reward. Ah, yes, I'll be right with you. Yeah. 
a Malayan bed. If you sleep on the Malayan bed, not only will you wake up more energized, Malanya, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. If you save up just three more, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Hang on, did I get it? No, that's the old map. I thought I had enough. Read the ledger. Points and rewards. Actually, read the ledger. Um... No, okay. Alright, let's check out that cave. And then we might look at helping that Korok seed. Oh, okay, maybe it isn't a cave. Is it just a pathway? Oh, it is. Is that a Korok seed? No. Hello, puppy. Oh, hang on, there they are. How are there so many? I really thought we found it too. You know how long it would take to open all of those one by one? My arms are just tired just thinking about it. And every single chest we open, we find the same thing, a green rupee. It's like they're messing with us. What's the matter? Oh, the prison, hush up. You again? You're the guy from before. Don't you have anything better to do than eavesdrop on us? What's your deal? Wait, don't tell me. You came to this cave to find Misko's treasure too. Prison, just don't say anything. Shh. Ah, I mentioned Misko's treasure, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Misko's treasure? It's whatever. No sense in trying to hide it now. Misko is the name of an infamous bandit who caused problems all over Hyrule back in the day. But Misko's legend expands beyond merely banditry. You see, Misko is equally famous for fashion. The stories say that they spent a lifetime collecting clothes. Clothes that are now hidden across Hyrule. We suspect that Misko's wardrobe might be in the caves that were exposed during the upheaval. That's why we're here. And we got here first, so if you're thinking about swooping in and snatching those do those duds, sorry, think again. <laughs> oh, there's no way you'll be able to find Misko's treasure in that sea of chests. There's nothing to worry about, Dak. Uh... Hmm, you've got a point. Yeah, yeah, okay, listen up. You got our permission to go into that cave. If seasoned treasure hunters like us can't find it, you're about to, you won't fare any better. Not unless you've got a nose like a dog and can sniff out treasure. <laughs> oh. That's it, Dak. Let's give a dog some food or something like that and get it to like us, and then it'll lead us to treasure. Huh? I was being sarcastic, prison. Uh. Sorry, Dak. Okay. 
Actually, I just want to have a look. I want to have a look first before... There's a lot. Yep. <laughs> I know I need the dog, but I do enjoy opening chests. <laughs> All right, there's a fair few more. All right, hopefully I have got enough food to give to the dog. Slightly screwed if I don't. Hello, Bubby. Okay, what is uh all right, let's start off with a chicken bone. No. Hold. Hello, Evie. How you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Are you going to do anything yet? No. Nope. Okay. We're going to go find some treasure. What has the amazing Evie been up to this evening? Right, you sniff out that treasure. This one here, huh? <laughs> Amber trousers used in ancient rituals. This item is made of heat absorbing cloth. That produces flame if high temp that produces flame in high temperature environments. Huh. Whoa, hey, what did you do? We found the thing. With the help of the popper. 
No way. There are like a million chests in here. How did you do that? Okay, yeah, we tailed you, I admit that. But we never thought you'd actually find it. We've been hunting treasure long enough to know the rules. Find us keepers. Oh, we're not going to try and take it from you. Uh. Yeah, no matter how cool it is. So jealous. Really, any treasure left in there? You know what? I'm going to look for myself. Out of the way. Hmm? Treasure? You in there? Ah! Ah. Ah, oh, darn. It's just a regular old bottle. Oh. I don't think we'll find anything else around here. Come on, prison. Let's go find ourselves another cave. Ah! You got it, Dak. Hmm. What's in the bottle? To you who have found my treasure, these ember trousers are but one piece of my grand collection. I have hidden an assortment of equipment across Hyrule, notable pieces obtained in strange lands near and far. You've done well to find this one, but I will reward you with a hint to another. The Fierce Deity Sword. Don the form of the fiery deity and return to this place. There are three keys you will need. One beneath the bedchamber of Akala's red crown citadel, one in the skull's left eye, one in the old stump in High Ruled Field. Good luck, the great bandit Misko. Relaxing, flirting with crush, other fun things. Oh, that's cool! Oh, as long as it was a good night. I may as well try and get all these rupees. Waste not, want not. Oh, that backfired badly. Definitely moving out of the way from now on. Oh my god, there are so many... But I'm keen to get them all. Okay. Oh. It's a tedious process, but some treasure hut is going to do it.
Okay. There's only a couple more. Go. Oh, Jesus. And I'm pretty sure that is the last one. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. I've already read that. That one been opened? Yes. That one hasn't. Okay. Oop. That one hasn't. There should be an achievement for opening all the All the treasure chests in the in the cave. I don't think I've missed any. They all look open. Oh no, hang on, that one's not. Oh. Nearly let one slip. Final check. Now, nah, all done. All opened. Okay. Now, let's go back this way and... Let's do that shrine. see what this is about. Hopefully it is not an achy shrine. I've already done two in a row tonight. Not in this stream, but the one I did earlier on today. Nope, not an achy shrine. That's good. Wind power. Okay. All right, that's going to work. 
How many do I have? Do I just have two? Because... Yes, I have two. I should probably... Put them on. The same one. Shit. Helps if I put it on in the right direction, doesn't it? Nice even spread of the wind. We'll leave them going. Oh, really? That was it? I'm like, hang on, where's the chest? Found the chest! Please be good. Construct bow, that is what I need. Sometimes nice easy shrines are a welcome change. Okay, that's done. Okay, so that's done. Still got some more stuff this way. I think my next big target is going to be maybe up this way. Or actually, no, I might go this way. But first of all, there is a Karok seed that requires our assistance. But I need to. Where is the stable again? It's over here. Swear to God, mate, your mate better not be too far away. My friend and I got separated. Yeah. Alright, you know what? Let's go for a walk. Grab another one on the way. All right. So hopefully we won't come across any cheekiness. Possibly will. If 
that dude is anything to go by. No, he's leaving us alone. That's good. All right, let's pop you there for a sec. Ah, oh, just up there. Excellent, not too far away. There you go. It's on the other side, but I hope that's all right. Yep, excellent. Ooh, would you look at that? A chest as well. Got some Zonai rockets. Hmm. Okay. Well, while I'm up sort of high, let's... Ooh, hello. No, go back. Where is it? There. Have I... Gotten that one yet? No, I haven't. Okay, let's make a beeline for there. I'm sort of a bit all over, all over the shop really. With my exploring, I'm sort of like squirrel. Don't see anything that's really pressing at the moment, like shrines and stuff. Hmm. There's probably they're probably around. I just can't see them. Okay, is it over that way? Yes, it is. Okay. I think I'm going to have to climb up a little bit higher. And we'll continue to glide from there. What? Oh, okay. Well, at least I was able to catch myself and regain my stamina. Come on, up we climb. Up we climb.
Going rock climbing. You'd never catch me doing it in real life. We are very nearly there. What I'm thinking is once I reach this geoglyph, I might call it a night. So then, come, come back tomorrow with some more fun. More fun in Hyrule! Okay, here we are. Are you for real? There's... Oh, they followed me. Bastards. Alright. Now, let's see if we can find this memory. All right, let's look for this geoglyph. Though I think I found a Korok seed. Okay. Now, from what I understand, some of the geoglyphs are where the memory is, is coloured in. I don't remember it being the other ones being coloured, but that doesn't mean to say that it's not. Oh, well, I suppose it is. All right. Law time. The pure pad. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it.
So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means... If you don't already know how to get yourself home... Then she's stuck. There are stories about the secret stones and... A forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. Interesting. Another way to reach the future. Though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Okay. That's it, Zelda. Stay nice and peppy. <laughs> All right, there we go. We've got another memory. So how many do we have now? So there's 18. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, five out of 18. So there's 13 more to go. My goodness. Still so many. All right. While we're here, this seems like a pretty good vantage point for looking to see if we can see any more shrines. Or towers. <sighs> okay, let's go over a little bit more. Oh. oh, I forgot to look this way. I'm a bit of a dum dum. Actually. Bit is an understatement. Very much a dum dum. Um, can't. How 
Have I got that tower? No, I haven't. Is it that one there? Oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is that. That's certainly something. I honestly don't think I've gotten that yet. Okay, there's some constructs down there. Hmm. There has got to be more shrines around here. There has to be. Hmm. All right. How many geoglyphs are there meant to be? It's one, two, three, four. I think there's meant to be like five geoglyphs. I think the other one's like this way. Hmm. Where should we go? I might try for one more shrine. One more. All right. Let's fly. See if we can make our way to that shrine that's in the middle of the circle, the swirly. And hope to God there isn't any nasties down there. There's definitely a shrine over there. A little bit more out. I think I'm going to need some stamina food. Or an elixir. No, that's not going to help. Um, please don't let it be from back at the tower. Please let me be... Damn it. All right, let's go for something a little bit more achievable.
Oh, there's one down there. Oh, please don't let this be a massive mistake. Don't let this be a massive mistake. Oh, okay. No gloom hands or anything, so I'm I'm happy. And then there'll be another shrine up that way so that's that's good okay we'll do one more shrine and then that'll be it we pray for no naked shrine <laughs> okay that's good no naked shrine Oh, it's combat training though. Okay. Ah, uh, this is this is this is fine. Let's try and prove. Yep. Heed my instruction. Approach the enemy's back without being noticed and deal a surprise attack. Ready yourself. Just as long as it doesn't start moving. Well done. Now finish it off. Approach the patrolling enemies back unnoticed and deal a surprise attack. That's what I was doing before. Okay, what's its pattern? It'll come this way. Damn it. Damn it. 
I asked for an easy shrine. Oh, it's close though. I just need to be that little bit closer. Well, I suppose the thing didn't come up either. to do this. I got any sneaky stuff. <gasps> this might be cheating a bit, but Oh, thank God. Now I just need to make a really strong sneaking elixir again. <laughs> oh dear. What have we got in here? <laughs> Excellent. I'll keep that one in the bank. Okay, let's have a quick look up here and then I am going to finish up for the night. So then I can I can play more games tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, mate, honestly. He needs to give up on those ruddy signs okay is there any other shrines just sticking out in the open maybe not no 
nothing, nothing sticking out, but we still have the one that's over there. We still got the there stable that's there, and there sh should be a shrine behind it, because that's where that is. And still a heck of a lot more stuff to do. Might even start trying some stuff. Like, ooh. He's not too far away. Oh, another Korok seed. Yeah, mate, I hear you. All right, where where's your friend? All the way over there. All right, I am going to put a cork seed there. We might just have a quick check to Colton. see oh yeah. greetings and good morning I trade treasures for bubble gum bubble gums bubble gems Quah, you're the nice traveler from before you gave me some bubble gems so kind many thanks you know it was a very special moment for me yes very special I need more bubble gems I must have more Wah, I'm sorry ever since we parted I've been traveling far and wide and still and yet I still haven't gathered a single bubble gem. When I, when will I become a Satori? What am I to do? It can't be a coincidence we meet again. Fate, yes, fate, brought us together. I'm sure of it. Please, if you do get your fingers on any bubble gems, would you please give them to me? My God, such violence. I promise I'll give you suitable treasures in exchange for them. For example, look up there. That mystic clothing, there is all yours if you bring me lots of bulletins. Okay, yeah, sounds good. How many do you want? Wow, look at the time. Travel, I'm very sorry, but I came all the way here for this unfortunate hour. We must meet again when it's night. Oh, of course. All right, well, I think on that note, I am going to throw that rock over the cliff and leave it for tonight. Let's save. And I'm not going to raid again, I am just going to bounce because... It is sleepy time. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time. And I'm thinking if I do a long stream tomorrow, because I won't be around Thursday, yeah, I'll do a long stream tomorrow. And that, that should be good. That should be good. All right, guys. Again, thank you all so much for joining. Hope you all enjoy. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back later on tomorrow. Um, I'd say maybe in about 10 hours or so. We'll see how we go. Let's see how much sleep I get. <laughs> All 
All right, guys. Until then, look after yourselves. We're all in this big wide world together. So if we have each other's back, we can get through anything. All right, guys. Love you all. And I'll see you next time. Bye.